G'day everyone. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna show you my vapor blasting cabinet. Now I can't take credit for the design of this. Um, there's heaps of videos out there on YouTube on how to convert these into vapor blasting cabinets. The best of which, in my opinion, is from a Kiwi bloke. He's got a channel called Armory Enterprises. And uh, basically his whole channel is just geared around vapor blasting. He's also got a couple of eBooks on, uh, on his website. They're pretty cheap. I think it was like 13 New Zealand dollars, which is about 10 Australian dollars and way less American dollars. And they've got all of the information you need to build one of these and have it working with minimal fuss. So this video is gonna be more of an overview because I really don't wanna steal his thunder and all the information's out there anyway. But starting with the cabinet, the cabinet's just one of those generic sandblasting cabinets. In America, they're called uh, Harbour Freight. In Australia, we call them Hafco's, but they're all from China anyway, and they're all pretty much the same. Uh, they come as a flat pack, so when I put it together, I just used two tubes of silicon and I sealed everything to make sure it was 100% watertight. The lighting that comes with them is pretty crap. So I upgraded that and I used two LED trailer reverse lights because they're already waterproof. And I just wired those up to the uh, 12 volt switch that's already on the, uh, on the unit. I cut a hole through the side of the cabinet in under here. We put a standard hose fitting. And that connects to a hose and a nozzle inside the uh, cabinet that I use for washing down. I widened out the existing hole for the air inlet here. And then I used some plumbing fittings. I've got an elbow here into a 10 mil barb. And on this side, I've got a check valve into a 10 mil barb as well. All right, so the vapor blasting gun itself was built using plans from Armour Enterprises and it just uses standard plumbing fittings. Like this is a half inch filter strainer body. It uses the ceramic nozzle that came with the cabinet, a 10 and a 13 mil barb, and then a couple of extra little components that you need to make up, but they're relatively easy. Um, and all the dimensions are right there in the, uh, in the plans which you can purchase. All right, so for an air valve, I've just got this foot pedal. The air hose from the compressor connects to the left hand side of it here, goes through the valve, and then feeds air to the gun through this pipe here. For a reservoir, I've just got this plastic garbage can and I've put a tap on the side of it because when I use the wash down, obviously it puts more water into the system. So to keep the glass bead to water ratio the same, I turn off the pump and then I open this tap to bleed off the extra water. All right, so the pump is just this submersible trash pump. And you can see I've taped off the float switch so that it's always going to be on. Out of the outlet, I've got this poly T piece. The bottom of it is open and that's the agitation jet. That's what stirs up all the glass bead and mixes it with the water. And you can see it's on about a 45 degree angle. So it gets a good swirl going in the bucket. The other end is a 13 mil barb and that feeds this 13 mil rubber heater hose, which in turn feeds the gun. Now I've screwed the bottom of it to this piece of plywood because the pressure coming out of the agitation jet here will tip the uh, pump sideways. And once that happens, it starts spitting water up over the edge of the bucket and it just gets messy. So that's my uh, temporary stop gap. I'll figure out something better a bit later. All right, so we'll turn on the pump and that will simultaneously mix the glass bead with the water and turn it into a slurry and pump it up through the gun. So we'll let that go for a bit and then we'll test the ratio. To test the ratio, I'm just gonna fill up this cup, let the glass bead settle and see where it sits. Right, and you'll see that's a bit under 50-50 and that's the ratio I've been getting the best results with. Um, now that doesn't mean that it's 50% glass bead and 50% water in the reservoir. I think through the stirring action of the agitating jet, it concentrates all the glass bead around the center where the pump pickup is. So realistically, there's probably only about two or three kilo of glass bead in there and the rest is water. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna talk about before I show you what it can do is the compressor. Now building the vapor blast cabinet's pretty cheap. I think I got out of that one for less than 500 bucks, which is pretty reasonable, but that's assuming you've already got a compressor that's up to the task. Now the manufacturers for the uh, sandblasting cabinet recommend a minimum of 340 litres per minute free air. Um, now that's getting towards the top end of your single phase compressors here in Australia. 
Um, this one here is a single phase, single motor and pump, 15 amp plug, and it's capable of putting out 368 liters per minute free air delivery or 13 CFM. Um, it doesn't do too bad. It's got a 60% duty cycle, which means it can run for six minutes and then it needs a four minute break out of every 10 minute block. You'll get about two to three minutes of blasting before it'll kick in and then another six minutes of blasting with it running and then you've got to give it a break, which isn't too bad for my purposes because that gives me a break and it lets me wash down the tank so I can actually see because I don't have a windscreen wiper. Um, so it's not terrible. All right, so here's a side cover off an XS650 that I'm doing up for my dad. And as you can see, it is absolutely terrible. It's been left outside for quite a while and it's just oxidized as hell. So the uh, Vapor Blast is not gonna polish it, but it will give it a nice matte finish that'll be a hell of a lot easier to polish once I'm done. So I'll chuck it in there now and we'll give you an idea of what this thing can do. So here's a bit of a before and after. As you can see, this thing is just magic. Like it just takes the corrosion away. This obviously would have been a polished component to begin with, um, but for cleaning cast components, like that looks brand new and it will be a lot easier to polish from that kind of finish rather than that kind of a finish. I am so happy with that. All right, so that's the Vapor Blaster. Um, having this thing around has made things so much easier. I used it extensively when I rebuilt my engine. I used it to pretty much clean up all of the external parts, as well as a lot of the internals. I used it to decarbon the valves, the head, the, uh, the pistons, and it just made things so much quicker and easier. And the finished result actually looks a lot better as well. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.